Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be working with this tab. In one of my last videos you will find some model which is looking like this, but this will be modeled with a totally different uh, approach. That's why I wanted to make a video. Now we open a new part and in top plane we are going to create a sketch. Firstly we take the view and center point arc and we place in our screen and operation placing here lines one will be also from middle to here and three of this line will be construction geometry and this will be vertical we select this one control is pressed and we select this two point and say symmetric here we have radius 25 here we have an angle of 45 after this operation, we are going to select our font plane and then we go reference geometry plane and we drop in this point. Now, in this new plane, we are going to create a new sketch and from this point to this point, I will place a line. And later on, I will hide my sketch. Now we will be dealing with this. First, maybe it's good to create a new reconstruction geometry, taking a spline from here one, two, and three. This point will be aligned with the y axis, I'm saying vertical, and here I will give my dimension, which is two and a half, and I will play a little bit with my spline, and I will say this. Point and this spline control, angle control point, uh, and my line will be parallel. And then here I do have a 17 and a half tangency value. Here we have other objects to define yet. I will give this tangency here. I will give this tangency here. Control simply is pressed, and then I'm selecting two object and giving tangency value. Here tangency value is 10, here tangency value is 10. Now we are done with this. Simply now we have to sketch what we are going to do with them. It is very simple after this point. We are just going to take our under curves, project curve, sketch on sketch active, and we select two sketch. And now combination of this two sketch created for me one 3D dimension sketch, which have in y and x direction uh, dimension also in z. After this operation, we are going to create three plane and take one of the planes already there. We don't need to create it. I have to make right plane active, reference geometry plane. Select my curve, the point, same operation will be repeated here, plane, a curve and a point, and now here I will create, start to create my sketches. In plane 2, I will place a line, which I will make a pierce. So we Maybe we should create here a little line where we can create our relationship easily. I select my curve and line and then I set peers. And now I'm using this uh, point of line that I created and saying now midpoint and the length is 10. After this operation, we go close this, we become plane 3. We had a struggle there to create a 3D midpoint relationship. Maybe, maybe now I can try again, not working. I will create here in this y axis a line again, converting to construction geometry, clicking point and curve and say peers. And now we select this one and this one saying midpoint. 
Now I will select this. Control is pressed and I select all sketch and say equality. But this equality a little bit looking strange. Maybe program takes. Uh, yes, didn't work. Projection, I think. You can say again, then that's not a big deal. You see, every time we came across something different. That's why it is very important to keep modeling and keep making progress in program. In the white plane, we create one more sketch. And now I will use maybe one of the old sketch here. This can make this active, front plane active. And now we will come from here to down. Selection geometry and we click this two and say peers. Again align. Again midpoint and giving it 10 millimeter. Wait. Yes. This can be hidden. This can be hidden. We have three line and one three-dimensional curve. We go boundary curve. Select two three object and selecting a curve which will be a guide for this one. What we are what we will be doing here creating normal to profile. Here also, I don't remember, do I, did I have the other? I everywhere, normal to profile, Look from top, yes, it is looking fine. Uh, after this operation, we click, uh, close our right plane, hide it, sorry, origin and top plane, both selected, control is pressed, going to create an axis. If you remember in the beginning, this uh, piece of surface was placed in a 45 degree angle, which means one of a part of one full circle. We will make a circular pattern. We select axis, here bodies, a time copy. That's looking nice. And now next operation. Knitting the surfaces, surface, now thicken, in the middle, tree, yes, it is done now, we can continue to next operation, which is, will be extracting some surfaces, and adding some uh, radiuses. Let's make first an offset surface, zero. I will copy all out of surfaces. You will understand why I did after when I showed you operation. Yes, we got this. We close our surface bodies and we are going to make a here shell 0.5. Let's say we select all the surfaces again. That's a little bit annoying. Sorry, bear with me. Maybe we need to change shell uh, value, but we will see. Hmm. It's very thin. Let's make it uh, maybe 1. 0.75. Let's try with 1, sorry. Yeah, now a little bit looking better. Okay. The thing that we are going to do now, copying all the surfaces, and that's also a lot of work, but we will do. Let me start quickly and then I will stop video. Surface. Simply selecting all the surfaces. Nothing more.
it took me around one and a half minute to copy everything. It's quite a lot of surface. In fact, we could solve these little surface breaks, but we continued in this way. What we did exactly, we just copied internal surfaces, and I do see here I'm missing one. I can show solid body again, surface offset, and then I will take that one back. Could close in different way also. But now I just prefer to use this one. We hide this one and we have here one more the outer one. Now we're gonna make a trim surface. Mutual will be active here and we do select tool and then we will remove the outer parts. This part will be removed. And the under part will be removed. Here we, we have a quite solid. Normally after this netting operation, we can create here a solid automatically without going to net surface. I just retake it and say create, create solid for me. And then program will make a solid if we don't have any problem. Yes, we do not have any problem. And it's just, if you look, we have two solid bodies. We can just make a different color here to understand the difference. Say this is uh, bronze. And now to just how it is. Yeah, I just made it a little bit complicated to make sure we are also learning another functions, another uh, way of doing things in program. For example, from an area creating a, a, a solid body. I hope you enjoyed with my video. If you like it, please do make comment and hit the like button. If you do search better videos, more challenging things, please do visit my channel. You will find there good enough material. See you in another video.